So here we have some more tales from the Raspberry Pi. And what I've been doing is looking at power consumption of different computers and a little bit of benchmarking running Linux. So this Raspberry Pi 400 still has Ubuntu on it, 20.04, I think the latest version. And what I've been doing is um, just checking out the hardware, what it can do. And I did some benchmark tests with the program, which is called Hard Info. Um, which announces itself as system information when you run it. But if you want to install it, you have to look for hard info on the package manager. And the crypto hash benchmark for the CPU shocked me because it comes out at 272, which is, I think, really high. I expected it to be way lower than that. That comes out between, as you can see, the um, Intel Core 2 Quad at 2.66 gigahertz, two different versions of it. So it really is quite an impressive performance with such a small, low-powered CPU. Um, at the moment, it's not doing very much. Another benchmark which I like to check on computers is the graphics performance. And I do this by looking at my favorite fish tank, which is this one. This is at webglsamples.org aquarium. And you can tell it how many fish to display, and it gives you the reading of frames per second. Here you see we've got 10 frames per second with 100 fishes. And what I normally do is make a measurement with one fish in the tank. And in this case, the frames per second might go up to 12, maybe. Sometimes I get 12 on the Raspberry Pi and there's one lonely fish. And then if we click, just to stress it a little bit, 5,000 fishes. There's 5,000 fishes in the fish tank. And you can see that the image is quite jerky now and the frame rate has dropped down to four frames per second, um, which is not earth shattering performance, but for what I do with the Raspberry Pi, it's plenty. Let's just uh, change that back to, let's have a hundred fish, give it an easier time. So the um, CPU benchmark, the CryptoHash benchmark is uh, really quite high. What I have on this screen here is various different benchmarks that I've done with different computers. Um, and I've ordered them mostly against crypto hash benchmark values. The highest computer I own is scoring about 900, and that's an i7-4770, which is not the latest i7 by any means, but it's more than fast enough for what I need. If we go down the list, um, you can see the various CPUs here, mostly all Intel. And then we get down to the Raspberry Pi 400 is here, which is in around about the middle of my list, which shocks me. I thought it would be way lower than that. So the Raspberry Pi 400, there's the crypto hash score of 270 from the hard info program. And that's the um, core, sorry, the um, ARM CPU here, the BCM A72 with four cores running at only 1.8 gigahertz. And it scores a very healthy score. And as you can see on my computers that I have, it's between an i3, 3.4 gigahertz, and this here, i5, 2.5 gigahertz. So it really is quite a healthy performance. And what's even more shocking and amazing is this really low power consumption. The power consumption doing nothing is 3 watts, and with 100% CPU load, the power consumption is only 6 watts, which is practically nothing compared to some of my other computers. You can see they're taking 48 watts, 46 on load, um, higher and higher. I think that's the hungriest computer, 99 watts on full load, and 32 watts when it's doing nothing. That's a Core i7. So you can see that the Raspberry Pi 400, of course any Raspberry Pi, is extremely power saving with extremely low numbers. Three watts power consumption doing nothing, six watts on full load. The worst power consumers, of course, here's one, an Intel Xeon, 100 watts doing nothing, 142 watts uh, on full load. It's a Xeon 4-core running at 2.5 gigahertz in a server. And in fact, that Xeon is uh, further down the list than the Raspberry Pi in terms of benchmarking. It's two down. So the Raspberry Pi 400, which is this little computer, actually has more CPU performance in the CryptoHash benchmark than one of these servers, which has a Xeon CPU in it, and of course takes 100 watts more power and makes 100 decibels more noise as well. So that's quite amazing performance from such a tiny 
inexpensive computer, I never cease to be amazed by the Raspberry Pi. What it can do and the figures it's turning in there really are amazing. So um, let's see what else we can discover with the Raspberry Pi 400.